Hi and welcome to my second foray into trying to use Sonic Pi with Minecraft um, with the latest link between the two and um, in this program I decided to uh, look at some curves um, in order to do that I had to use some math functions but these are actually available in the Ruby language and for example here we can define the constant for pi using and um, putting into another variable just little small lowercase pi is equal to math colon colon pi and also we need to use the cosine and sine functions which again can be uh, taken from the maths library here. Um, basically the uh, program sets up some coordinates um, x, y and z coordinates for um, the different points that make up the helix uh, and I've got 180 points which are stored here in this list L and then there is, we define a function spiral which is going to have a starting central point and it's going to draw a spiral of a certain radius p and using a particular brick to do it so we could draw gold spirals, um, diamond spirals, what have you and the uh, spiral is first drawn and halfway through it being drawn it starts to erase itself from the beginning as well and then because we're using Sonic Pi, we can also synchronize this with some uh, notes being played and a rising pattern of notes as the um, spiral is drawn and a falling pattern as it, is, um, as it is wiped out again. And so we just set this up. It, it goes through, in fact, an inner loop here, drawing the um, um, spiral and um, it then um, does that uh, eight times and the whole thing is inside a continuous loop so it restarts that eight again so the program just runs continuously we teleport to a suitable position to which to observe the spirals and also at the top I draw a gold bar here so that we've got a reference point so we're pointing in the right direction in order to see it because there's nothing else in the landscape and otherwise it would be a di bit difficult so let's dr start the program going by uh, saying run and then I'll immediately switch over to the Minecraft um, world which is running up here so we say run we switch to the Minecraft world and once the screen becomes activated well, there's the gold pillar we'll just point towards the top of it and here comes the first spiral and we can actually follow it around fly around with it and just see it being drawn. Then it's starting to be wiped out from the end as it started off again. We'll go back towards the pillar. Uh, it's going to jump in position in a minute. There it goes. Find out where it is and we're ready for the second spiral to be drawn. Here it goes. A gold one this time a bit bigger. Sometimes you don't see the back edge. If it's, if it's too big then it's out of range of drawing and so you don't see the whole thing at once. And it's now got a bit sluggish. I've gone around the wrong way. So we've lost the pillar. We'll just miss that one out. When we get back again to the start, where's the gold pillar gone? It'll bring us back after this one. Here we are. There it is. We're set ready for the next one. Here it goes. This one, a uh, steel one, I guess, or is it diamond? Spiral being drawn and then wiped out from the end. Back down to the ground, get back onto the ground, there we are, there's our pillar, ready for the next one. Smaller one being drawn here. Back ready for our next one. There we are. Gold again. We have quite a lot of fun just flying around these structures and get a three-dimensional sense of them as they're drawn. Back to the pillar, not fall off the edge. Ready for the next one. Back down to the ground. Point in the right direction. Here's the next one. One more. Smaller one this time. Mm. 
as I say, the program runs continuously, so we will just uh, press the tab key, uh, click on that to hide the window, and then we can stop the program from running here. So that's another example of using Sonic Pi. This is actually uh, uh, the development version 2.5, but this should be published this week, and you'll be able to try out these programs yourselves. Um, there will be a link to the program in a GIST uh, underneath the video. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you.